if, if yours is bigger than you, it's, it's going to look mad. Vintage technology. Mm. Older than my breast implants. That's the least sexual sucking of a lolly I've ever seen in my entire life. Always subverting. Congratulations, ruin another show. Yep. Comedians have an answer for everything. But what do these dum-dums actually know? I'm Abby Clark, he's Huge Davies, and this is the Question Team Interrogation, where comedians get tested on their specialist subject. James A. Caster with a round on people. Catherine Ryan with a round on excuses. Jen Brister, the 90s. And their general knowledge. First up, it's James A. Caster. Welcome to Question Team. You're doing a quiz layer on people. So let's see how well you know us. OK. Yeah, fun. First question. Who's got the lowest Uber rating between us? The lowest? Yeah. Um, I think Huge has the lowest rating. I also want to see my rating and compare it to yours. What's your rating? It's 4.68. Whoa! Mine's 4.78. Whoa! 4.79. Oh, wow. no! Look at that. Nail-biting. Who has the biggest thumb? Well, I mean, Huge is a bigger person. Taller. What are you trying to say? If, if yours is bigger than you, it's, it's going to look mad. What are you counting as bigger? What, do, what, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so if yours is significantly wider than Huge's but shorter, mm. and yours is really long and thin, then I think we'll all just have a good laugh and forget about the quiz. Three, two, one, draw. OK, we got, obviously that's bigger. Um, you've got a... Uh, but can you see her thumb, though? It's, 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 really it's, pr it's pretty long, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a fake nail there doing a lot of the work. It's actually real. Grew what the myself. fuck? Who can uh, touch her toes out of the two of us? So one of you can't, and one of you can. Yeah. Is that true? Is it one of you can't at all, and one of you can? Or have you not even discussed this between your, yourselves before this started? That's for you. That's not really the question we asked. Which one of us? Which one of us could touch our toes? Well, well. So I'm guessing neither of you know at the minute what the answer is. Um, but uh, Abby can touch her toes because Abby said that it was one of you who can do it, and the other can't. So that means you're confident that you can. You didn't know. I would assume that Abby can do it, and you can't. Well, should we see? Abby, touch your toes. Try and. Right, I mean, again, the, 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 the bent... Mm. I don't think that counts. Always subverting. Congratulations, ruin another show. Yep. Interview begins. Present, we have Huge Davies, Abby Clark and Catherine Ryan. I'm impressed you know how to use that. Thank you. She'd never seen it before. Doesn't no. usually before. stay down, actually, that's yeah. quite... <laughs> that's new. It's not plugged and in. Vintage technology. Mm. Older than my breast implants. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, uh... Specialist subject, cheaters. Mmm. You've encountered cheaters in your past? Pre-husband, a lot of liars and cheaters and scumbags. The kind of dudes blind dogs bark at. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, Abby and I are colleagues, uh, but there was a time where we used to actually go out. Really? Um, but then she had an affair with my best friend, Leroy. I'm sorry that you got caught. There was a lot of evidence that, that Abby did cheat on me. I'm going to point you towards a few of them, and okay. you're going to try and figure out maybe what Abby's excuses were. I'm going to write what my excuse was. And then you You're going to see if you can match it. OK. OK. Uh, well, one night, Abby came home uh, stinking of cologne. Uh, I never wear cologne, and the only person I know that does is my best friend, Leroy. Mm. Uh, what do you think Abby's excuse for that was? I think that Abby knows that you're friends with Leroy and you have a lot of shared interests. Uh, cologne, maybe. So she was at the shop trying it on to see if it would be the right smell for you. So I, I just didn't want it to go to waste. Thought I'd work there. Butter for huge, yeah. Thought I'm huge. Butter for you. Thought I'd work. Yeah. Abby came home one night with a new tattoo. Mm. It's a heart with an L in it. But my name begins with an H, Catherine. Mm. What's Abby's excuse for this, do you reckon? What do you think she said? Well, I think the L was for love. I mean, that is what she said. I just love love. Yeah. Love, love, love. Love, love. love, love. Um, I went into a sex shop uh, that me and Abby, it's our favourite one. Mm -hmm. Saw mm -hmm. Abby and Leroy in there buying sex toys together. What do you think she, she was said about that? What were you doing in the sex shop, Hugh? I'm a creepy guy. OK. Well, I feel like Leroy is maybe looking to satisfy someone in his own life. And Abby agreed to go to the sex shop with him to help explain to Leroy what the person in his life might enjoy sexually. 
Huge struggles to talk to women about sex. Uh, he'd never share his wants, his needs, his desires. So uh, obviously I had to talk to, to his best friend because... Oh. So you weren't helping Leroy to... Leroy was helping me. Leroy was helping you. See, but I... Yeah. He's a good friend. Well, huge people are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Later, Jen, yeah. you're going to be questioning people about the 90s. Correct. Yeah. And we're going to test how well you really know your own subject, Jen. OK. I feel quite confident, actually. Wow. She looks... Yeah, she looks good. Here are your questions. All right. And where are the questions? OK. We've had some reports. We've got some evidence from TV shows that aired in the 90s. We need you to just tell us the name of the TV show. OK. We were getting noise complaints from neighbours that, that some guy was having a party every week. When we got the address in Crinkly Bottom, all we could find was this. <laughs> this is that Mr Blobby. Wait for the question. OK, sorry. What's the name of the show? Um, is it Noel Edmonds' house party? It is Noel Edmonds' house party. You're what welcome. part of Mr Blobby do you think that is? Uh, is it his penis? I it's his hope thumb. not. <laughs> it's his thumb. What? Also, do penises have right angles? I mean, as a lesbian, I'm not... That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's made all the difference. You've switched it around. You're welcome. Okay. Members of the public were fighting against a wolf, Vulcan, and Shadow every week in these. Name the show. Gladiators. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Some FBI agents named Mulder and Scully found this. They said you'd know something about it. Um, I don't really know anything about this in... Name the show, Jen! Yeah, it's, the the... <laughs> yeah, it's the X-Files. Yeah, it's the It's the X-Files. Yeah. So that was the 90s. Yeah, you've passed this round, but you don't just get to answer questions about your own round on this show, Jen. Oh, I thought that was exactly what I was doing. It's time for the quick-fire round. <gasps> yes! James A. Caster. In which continent is the world's largest desert? Africa. Antarctica. What is the most widely spoken language in Norway? Norwegian? Yeah. How many elements are there in the periodic table? A hundred. 118. Not, not bad. What's the most sold flavour of Walker's crisps? Um, salt vinegar. No. no. Ready salted. Cheese no. and onion. In the alphabet, how many letters are between L and S? Five. It's six. So you were pretty close there. Where in the body would you find the anvil? Foot. No. Ear. Who's the oldest? Michael Gove, Noel Gallagher or Jacob Rees-Mogg? Michael Gove. Um, no, Noel Gallagher's the oldest. Noel Gallagher's older than Michael Gove? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? What nationality is Andy Murray? Scottish. What was New York known as prior to 1664? What was it known prior... 30 seconds! One question! Why? Why? <laughs> that was Why? entirely your that fault. Was, uh, that was not... I feel like that, to be fair, that last question was quite vague. That was yeah, terrible. I mean, yeah, well, it wasn't good. I have to say, Catherine, that was the worst anyone's done in the quickfire. No, right? it wasn't. That's insane. I think we're finished now. Thanks for coming in. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Jen. Yeah. OK, bye. I think I'll see you again soon. I hope not. Just have a great time on the show, and we'll see you on the other side. I had a great time seeing you both. I'm just going to go back to my dressing room now. You sit tight. Everything's going to be OK. Yeah. Thanks for coming in and answering our questions. Thank you for having me on. You've had a wonderful sure. time. Would you like to have a song before you leave? I would. OK. Well, you can leave in your own time. <laughs> What's, for me, what's the best way out of here? Uh, just, just the only door. Yeah, just the only door. Just that, okay. just the room. conference room. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye, mate. See, See you later. later. Thanks, James. No I feel great to... about myself. Yeah. All good. Um, You're as kind as they say you are. Signature. Signature kindness. So in your round tonight, you're going to be doing some charades in your game. Yeah. We decided to prepare some charades for you. OK, let's try it, yeah. OK. It's a film. It's three words. First word. The. Second word. Small. Tiny. Minuscule. Short. Inch. Inch and a half. Third word. What are you doing there? You, so, you look like you've been bound and gagged. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. We, 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 I, I, we're in a very different climate now. Is that even possible? I don't think... I think we'll have to blur something. Now we learn. Now we know. Oh, fish. The Little Mermaid. Now I understand. Yeah, it's, it's almost like we started with an easy one. So you're going to be doing a box-based quiz on, on Question Team. We, we thought it would be fun 
to do our own little box quiz for you. It's my birthday today. Is it really? Hang on. <laughs> got, got, got these on. Do you, right. do you, you want one as well? In this box, Wicked. you'll make me a present of Play-Doh <laughs> that I've never received before. Okay. And it's got it's presents that I wish I had, but I never got. And then Abby's going to try and guess what that present might be. What the fuck does that look like? Okay, cool. Right, um... Okay, we've got a little bit of a cube going on. Any, any clues? As to, yeah, I mean, what it might be, or...? Maybe like a mattress. Have you got one of these, or...? No, I've got an Xbox. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, what do you reckon that is? Well, I'm going to say it's PlayStation of some kind. You got it right, it's a PlayStation 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can you see it yourself. What do you think? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you smashed that in a way. Okay. Okay. Uh, number two. Two words. First word. Very emphatic. Knock. Hair. Helmet. Second. Hair. No. No hair. Bre blonde. Legally blonde. Wow. Legally, famously, a very hard word to do in charades. Nick, here's your next one. Okay. Okay, Satsuma. Is it gonna be... Okay, cat. Got it in. Yeah, got it in. In one. Oh Obviously. My... Wait, can I just see how quickly you got... What? I mean, what? Okay, that's nothing like a cat. Now it looks a bit like an owl. Yeah, one point. So wait, wait. I thought we agreed we were gonna do, like, personal stuff about us, not just films. Just stick with whatever you've planned, Huge. Okay. Three words. First word. Swimming. Drowning. Second word. Over, under, in. Third word. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's uh, drowning in. That would look really sinister. Shit. That's the. This is shit. You need to. You need to probably. I mean, that's seismic. Yeah. Get some help. Um, so drowning in shit. It wasn't like I did it off to myself. I did it. It was accident. I fell in a vat of shit. When? When I was eight. Have you ever anything uh, similar, similar to that? Or oh, I've fallen in human shit. I walked down an ancient stone stairwell, and the stone collapsed. And what broke my fall was a I'd say about half a meter pile of human shit. So whoever just coiled that one out, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Well, you was one person, was it? <laughs> Sue Perkins. How many points have I got so far? I've got two, right? You've got two, and this is your this last is, one. This is what you want. <laughs> this is the one I wanted most badly of all. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Should be easy for you. We'll see. Yeah. Um. Uh, doll. Uh, father figure. I mean. I mean, <laughs> I mean you, it's the father. Yeah, you got it, it's a father. Let's see how far Nick got along. It's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? There's father only, figure. There's only so many things it could be. Is your, is your dad morph? <laughs> I've seen your dad on TikTok and it's not, almost nothing like him. My dad thinks being on TikTok is looking at his watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Yeah. You're going to do doppelgangers? Yep. What celebrity have you been told you look like? Steve Tyler. Steve Tyler? Joanna Lumley. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Basically people over 70. Well, listen, you're doing doppelgangers. We thought it'd be fun to get a professional impressionist in. Oh. Um, to do some impressions for you. Uh, fortunately, we did run out of budget. Yeah. We're just going to have to do the impressions ourselves. OK. Um, Abby's up first. Oh, you look quite pretty, don't I? <laughs> Kira Knightley! Yes, Kira Knightley. Yeah. Kiers, yeah. Really good, that one. I look quite pretty. You look very pretty. Number two. Hi. I got uh, put a watch up the chicken's ass. Hi. I put a. Um, I'm br briefly in Pulp Fiction first. Uh, that's, that's the best oh, it's going to get. Yeah. I was going to say Christopher Walken. It's Christopher Walken. Oh! That's ding, crazy ding, ding. you got that. Ding, Christopher ding, ding. Yeah. Walken. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All right, right, next one. Third okay. one. OK. Um, I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. 
Do you know what I mean, hun? Like, just, do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm worldwide. I'm worldwide, Oh, hun. my God, seriously, honey, are you talking about actually the GC? I'm the, I'm the real GC. The GC, babes. I'm the GC. William Shakespeare. There we go. Nailed it. Yeah. Nice. That was excellent, Mod. Yeah. Do you think we could uh, be professional actors? Uh, no. <sighs> Fucking knew she'd say that. We've seen you good at boxes. <laughs> yeah. Big deal. But can you answer questions quickly? Yep. It's a quick fire round. Yeah. I want to see how many general knowledge questions you can answer in 30 seconds. OK. Feel confident? No. What time is two and a half hours after 2.30? Four... Oh, five. Yeah. Pigs don't sweat, true or false? True. Nice. What was the first non-English language film to win Best Picture at the Oscars? Parasite? Correct. From what grain is the Japanese spirit sake made from? Rice. What did Alice in Wonderland fall down? A well. <laughs> a, a, a rabbit warren. Yeah. yeah. What do you call a cocktail consisting of coconut milk, rum and pineapple? What is the world's biggest island? New Zealand. No, it's Greenland. Who is the god of thunder? Thor. That's the end of your round. You smashed it, man. What is the name of Simba's dad in The Lion King? Michael. Smooth facet. It like it's close, though. I find it very stressful. I found that very stressful. This has been great. Thanks very much for coming. Before you go, um, me and Abby have been writing an erotic novel. Would you like to review the first chapter of it? Of course. Here we go. Two detectives sit across from Sue Perkins, the sexiest lady in all of uh, television. I enjoyed this very much. All right. See you later. Have a good time. Thanks. Go be good. You can leave when you like. I'll go now, if that's okay. Bye. Laters! Bye. Bye. The detectives look at her longingly. We, we say, we say, you're free to leave, Sue, at any point, and she says, I won't be leaving. No. I'll be staying right here. Did you have a nice time? Oh, it's the highlight of my day. Would you come to another party with us? Get out. Just get out. That's enough. I can see the beads of sweat dripping down her moist face. <laughs> her, my thighs quiver. I found that very powerful. What do you reckon, yeah? I found it very powerful. That's chapter one. I can't wait to see how it turns out. It's very... Suddenly things feel very charged. Interview commences at 1.58. So you're going to be on question team. You've got to do a little quiz before. Yeah. It's going to be on YouTube. OK. Ready to go viral on YouTube? Not for the first time. Someone threw a bread roll at me and then some Nazis found it and then it put it all over YouTube. Pretty bad! The subject you'll be quizzing people. Yeah. On the main show, takeaways. Love it. OK, Nish, so we're going to see how well you actually know takeaways. You boy. We're opening a little cocktail bar. Delicious. Um, aloha. Aloha. Uh, aloha to us all. Taste them. Yeah. Try and tell which takeaway it is and maybe yeah. give it a name for it. Bring out the first one. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Well, I mean... First impressions, oh. what do you think? I tell you, it's got quite a whiff. Mm. That's a Thai green curry, my friend. What do you think it's, what do you think, uh, the cocktail's called? I think it's, um, Thai, T-H-A-I, me up. It's Long Island Ice Thai. Oh, very nice. Thank you. It's quite delicious stuff. Um, bring up number two, please. Ah, oh, now that is very much a glass of diarrhea. If I'm honest, I don't think our restaurant's going to be doing very well. That is bad. <laughs> That's one of the worst things I've eaten in my life. That's crazy how bad that is. It's like there's a party in my mouth and someone took a shit in the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you actually... What do you think what, it was? What do you think it was? Sick on the beach. It, it was, it was, um, that was a burrito. Oh, God! And it was, uh, the name for it... Yeah. A, a bujito. Bujito, like Bujito. a bujito. No, sorry. Bujito. 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 Sorry. Bujito. Bujito. Yeah. I absolutely love burritos, but it turns out not in juice form. Bring out number three! Ooh! This is a jizzy little number. Oh! <laughs> I've, you know what? I've, I've smelled vomit. That's better than that. I, I definitely think that's fish and chips with tartar sauce. You're correct. What, what's it and called? And mushy peas, I think, as well. Yeah. I, je I I'm sorry. I really. <laughs> oh God. That, that's absolutely disgusting. Got to push for a name of it. Okay. I genuinely, my mind has gone blank. So I actually don't know what it's called. Hit me. It's fish on the beach. That wasn't worth it. End on yeah, a high, no, right? Yeah, it wasn't worth the game. We're here to test how much you really know about chocolate, Joe. Nothing. 
It's weird that you did a whole uh, segment on the show about it, but know nothing about chocolate. Well, let's see. How many segments are in a Terry's chocolate orange? I'll have a guess at 15. Go and check. Do I ever get to find out? I have to go and buy one now. 20. It's 20, you're, five, um, you're five off. Look at this, uh, look at this line-up. Right. Oh, That's okay. the back of them. It's <laughs> the back. And then we got... Side-on profile. Side-on. And one of these. That's better. Straight yeah. on. Yeah. Which one of these chocolates um, won't, won't kill Abby if she eats it? I could help you out. My personal poison is a nut. Oh, is it? So oh, poor you. Uh, I'd say the second one from the left. So we're going two. So you have to eat it now, do you? Yeah. Number two there for you. Good luck. Confident? And not especially, because I'm not really good at identifying chocolate, but I hope, I hope I've got it right. Spoiler alert. None of them actually contain nuts. Even we're not that stupid. Fingers crossed, I guess. We're just yeah, big time. Wait for that to kick in. You want to carry on? Have you got any medication with you to counteract it? No, I thought I'd leave it downstairs just for some excitement. <laughs> we got a we got a bucket just for a. Oh, vomit fair enough. Yeah. Okay. It definitely would have happened by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, how well did you say you were doing in the quiz? This one. Yeah. Um, not well at all. No, not really. You'd be correct. <laughs> you said uh, yeah. your specialist subject is the world's strongest man. What makes you think you're the world's strongest man, Josh? Well, that's not really what I'm saying, is it? I don't know. I think, I think that is what you're saying. I don't know. We have an email uh, you sent to question team here. I mean, dear question team, I'm the strongest man in the world. Please test my strength and ability. Love. Agility. S strength and agility. Yeah, you misspelt that. But it says ability. It does say ability. So both, both work. Love. Josh Pugh, the strongest man in the world. Does that... That could have been anyone printing that off. Break this pencil, Josh. You think, think so, you so see, strong? You think you got damn hard on That is strong, actually. OK. Do two now. Break two pencils. It's a green and a black. Do you, do you actually want me to? Yeah. Ooh. That was pretty strong. Yeah, it was pretty strong. <laughs> All right, break 33 pencils. Yeah. Uh, that is... For the benefit of the tape, Josh is really struggling. He looks like a weak man to me. Would it do a lot to you, Abby? Doesn't look like the world's strongest <sighs> man. That's that is sure. impossible, I'd say. If I had to, I'd just, I'd just wear them down that way. Yeah. More than one way to skin a cat, baby. We don't have enough time for that, Josh. Stop messing about, Pew. We need answers, and you've got 30 seconds. It's a quick round. You have 30 seconds. Answer as many questions as you can. In Cockney rhyming slang, what does Jack Jones mean? On your own. Nice. Who is taller, Danny DeVito or Kylie Minogue? Uh, Kylie Minogue. Good, true. What colour are the bull's eyes of the dartboard? What colour is it? Red. Yeah. Whose fans are called the Little Monsters? Oh, I don't know. Lady Gaga. How many hearts does an octopus have? One. Wrong. Three. How many red stripes are there on the American flag? Fourteen. Wrong. Yeah, wrong. Half that. Seven. Seven. What temperature centigrade does water boil at? Is it a hundred? It is. What's the largest ocean? The Pacific or the Atlantic? Atlantic. How many eyes does a bee have? 17. Five. It's five eyes. How many bones does a human have? 306. It's 206. You're close, though. I say close. You're out. You are, yeah, you are, out. You are 100 yeah. out. Yeah. What country won the first, uh, very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? Uruguay? Yep. Ten which, seconds, Which Josh. planet has the most moons? Uranus. That's ch sure. childish. What alcoholic drink is mainly made from juniper berries? 30 seconds. Gin. Yeah. You Not almost bad. got it there. You almost Not got bad. it. bad. Very great. Which monarch officially made Valentine's Day a holiday in 1537? Wow. I've started so I'll finish. That's the end. That's... Yeah. Uh, Henry VIII. Right. Yeah, Henry VIII. You're actually better under pressure. Oh, good. Interview concludes at 2.43. Yeah. There you are. That's for you. Have that. Thank you. Do really well. I'm actually dead proud of you. Thanks, huge. I'm yeah. going to make you a mixtape. What? What? What would I want that? Text, text me, why are you...? Look, uh. Get out. You've been a good sport, Nish. You've had to go through a lot in your career. So we thought that, for a nice change, maybe you could tear up some bread and throw it at us. Oh, lovely. I'd love to do that, guys. There you go. Then, I guess, off... We finish What are you doing after this? 
Just off the record, do you... Um... Uh, what was the show? Yeah. Oh, do you mean after that? Yeah. Want to hang out? Should wow. we go? <laughs> this, are we getting yeah. this? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. You can see what they... You see I love this. Now I know why they did it. Yeah, I know. Good stuff. The subject you're quizzing on people tonight is superheroes, Jonathan. Okay. Well, you know I know myself. You're a fan? Yes. Would you would you ever want to be a superhero? I'd love to be a superhero. All right, that's lucky, because uh, it turns out we're both super villains. No way. Uh... I'm super cold, Abby's super hot. To defeat us, you have to answer a question right. Get okay. a question right. I eat something super hot, Abby eats something super cold. Cancelling out your powers? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Understand? At last. What was the name of the first DC slash Marvel crossover comic book ever published? Superman vs. Spider-Man, Treasury Edition. Came out about 76. Correct answer. Cover by Ross Andrew, inked by Dick Giordano, all right, all right. on layouts by Carmen Infantino that had to be signed off by Carmen, who was the editor of DC at the time, and Stan Lee. So I got that right, so you have to eat something hot and, yeah. and consume something cold. I, I, like, I got kimchi with um, sambal. I like kimchi. You've got a rum-based cocktail. Mm, no, it's coffee. Are you, am I just going to sit here while you eat the whole thing? It's really it's quite hot. You're no longer the chilli threat you were 30 seconds ago. Right, next question. What is the name of the Fantastic Four headquarters? Give me a hard one. Well, it's the Baxter Building, right in the heart of New York. Their postman is named Willie Lumpkin. Come on, make it difficult. Oh, Ooh, now you've that? got... It's not a Scotch oh, bonnet. He, lo he loves it. <laughs> next time you, you burp, would you mind looking more towards Abby? Because I felt some of the enamel on my teeth coming off. Sorry, it's really hot. You look older than me right now. All right, we'll make the last one hard. Yeah. Which comic book writer gave Daredevil his trademark red outfit? Well, there's some controversy here, because the writer at that time in the comic book itself is Stan Lee. OK. But the artist, who many people <laughs> believe was actually plotting the books and writing at that time, at that period, was Wally Wood. Yes, it's correct. You did save the hardest one to the end. Yeah, I really thought... I didn't think we were going to have to give you the last one here, I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. What is that? Jeez. What is that? What is that? Down in one. Chug, That's chug, 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 chug. That's fucking crazy. What is that? So I hear your uh, wife wrote Kick-Ass. Well, she wrote the film. She wrote the screenplay. <clears throat> if you had to be a character in Kick-Ass, which one would you be? Hit go. Come on, join in the fun a bit. Don't be such a stick in the mud. We're all having a good time here. Uh, I don't, I, honestly... Abby, he's bringing down, I believe the kids yeah. say, the vibe. You know what? That's the least, that's the least sexual sucking of a lolly I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just desperation. So you're in the Home Olympics. Must be a pretty big house to do the Olympics. No comment. Don't have much on. No comment. So we've got some kitchen gadgets for you to try. you just got to say what they're for. Uh, here's the first one. It's a carrot pencil sharpener. That's so cool. Have you got one? No comment. How did you know that? Can I see what it looks like now? Why would you need that? Do you have one? Yeah. Why do you need? Why did you buy that? Because you uh, do this. <laughs> Long lockdown, was it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. That's to stop you crying when you're cutting onions. Correct. What? Give him here. All right. It's going with my bond for them. Look. That's for flattening pancakes in a um, crepe. Ha! Wrong! It's for it's a, it's a pizza. It's for its pizza. It's a pizza cutter. Pizza Obvious. Cutter. Shit. Come on, holy, it's a pizza cutter. Holy, holy. Would you would you buy this? Who's to say I haven't already bought it? Well, you didn't know what it was. What you been doing with it? You've been flattening, flattening pancakes. pancakes. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. Oh, that's that. All right. Um. Well. You got two, right? What's that problem? I don't know. We're going to, have to test you on what you really know about films. Okay. Now, Abby Clark's been training as a forensic sketch artist, and she's drawn some forensic sketches of some films. We'd like you to maybe look at them and see what you think. That, okay, I'm down for that. Yeah. I'm good at this. First sketch. That's very good, Abby. Go Thank away, you. mate. Times twelve. It's really good. Do you know? Eight mile. That? Eight mile. Have you seen that? Have you seen Eight Mile? Yes. It's nothing like that. Oh, is that um, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels? 
No. No. Oh. Wank bank. That was 12 Angry Men. Exhibit B. Okay. That is almost, can you not think? Titanic. Yeah. That's pretty good. Come on! Honestly, when I first saw this, I was like, is, is this, is this a photograph? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've got the last one, Exhibit C. Oh, it was a toilet. Oh, shit, sorry, okay. I thought that was a man about to die. Uh, I mean, that's gum. not wrong. <laughs> Forrest Gump? No. Where do you get, what is this? There's no film that looks like this. Oh, no. He said on the toilet. Yeah, no, no. As he was that about film. to die. Oh, um, um, uh, uh, Dumb and Dumber. No. Yeah, it's Jurassic Park. No, how? It's Jurassic Park. To be fair, we should have drawn a dinosaur. <laughs> We've got a quick fire round coming up. Can I just take a nap? Yeah, OK. You've got 30 seconds. Answer as many questions as you can correctly. What is the capital of Wales? Wales. What? <laughs> you said how many can answer. You didn't say correctly. What colour eyes do most humans have? Brown. Yeah. Who is the manager of the England national football team? Gareth Southgate. True. Which is bigger, A4 paper or A5 paper? Four. What's the hardest rock? Stone. Marble. It's a diamond. You should know that. Is that a rock? What's the biggest animal in the world? Whale. Yeah. Who is the only US president to resign? Nixon. True. What does a Scoville unit measure? Uh, heat of food. That's correct. I know. What's the nut in the middle of a Freya Rocher? Hazel. I was wondering if you were going to finish the word. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. Oh, hazelnut, wait, wait. sorry. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Which of the Shakespeare's plays is the longest? Eternity Cities. It was a Hamlet. According to Greek mythology, who was the first woman on Earth? Greek mythology? I don't know, was it Ares? It was Pandora, that's your time up. What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? Coke. Coca-Cola. you out of time. Water. It was tea. Shut up! Is it? In the world? Off you go. Good luck on the show. Thank you, uh, thank you. I'll is there anything at stake? Do I get a prize if we win, or do we get a... a how about, if how about a, let's say the prizes you didn't get to eat five chillies in a row? I think it's only appropriate you play, you play yeah. me out. All right, here we go. OK, we conclude the interview there at 5.22. Smash that. I hope everyone finds the superhero facts as interesting as we did. Thank you. I refuse to leave until someone gives Huge a tissue and we get rid of that reservoir. What are you doing now? What's wrong with you? Why are you eating a cucumber? Well, that was a disaster. Yeah. Got to finish. If you'd like this, then like the video, please, and subscribe to Dave's YouTube channel. And watch the main show on UK TV Play.